Uh, well, good afternoon. Um, I'm Mark Watts. I'm one of the partners here at Bristow's. Uh, I've got to say, I've been, I've had a really busy week, and as a result of that, I didn't have time to make any opening remarks, unfortunately. So um, I asked ChatGPT to write a few words, <laughs> uh, just to just to welcome you all. I thought I'd share those with you, um, ladies. And, oh, what I put in was uh, write a few welcoming remarks, hundred words for a data protection event. Here's what I got. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, esteemed participants, <laughs> a resounding welcome to the top data protection event of the year. Now, I thought that was a bit immodest, to be honest. <laughs> but anyway, it is with immense pleasure and anticipation that we gather here today. I thought that was a bit like a christening or something, you know, uh, to delve into the paramount subject of data protection. In a world where data reigns supreme, don't leave, right, just go with it, um, the importance of safeguarding personal information has reached unprecedented heights. So join us on an exhilarating journey. <laughs> so um, the speakers are all over here, exhilarating, <laughs> okay? Uh, I thought that was, that's not really how I speak, um, it's not how anybody speaks, to be fair. Uh, maybe Rhys Mogg, I don't know. Some, <clears throat> but, so I, I, then I took it and I said, just make it more fun. Here's what I got. Ladies and gentlemen, data guardians and privacy superheroes. <laughs> Everybody comfortable with that? A cheerful welcome to the top data protection event. So it's fun but big headed, still going on. Um, today, we embark on an exciting adventure through the realms of data security and privacy. This extraordinary gathering unites industry leaders, experts, and innovators to shape the future of safeguarding information. This is where it got a little bit ahead of itself. Get ready for mind-blowing discussions, okay? <laughs> mind-blowing, right? Uh, revolutionary breakthroughs, and this is my favorite bit, and a sprinkle of magic. <laughs> In our journey towards data protection excellence, so fasten your seatbelts, unleash your inner data superhero, and get ready for an enchanting conference experience. Let the fun begin. So on that note, I'm going to tell you that there are no fire alarm tests scheduled <laughs> for today. So if you hear a fire alarm, follow the exit, and we're all, don't run. We're all around the corner, and we will assemble in a safe space. Um, so with the formalities out of the way, let me just say that this, uh, we're, you'll see in the, in the booklet, there's quite a lot of us. We're a big old data protection team. And I think I can speak for all of us when I say this is one of the highlights of the year for us when we get to see people and we get to work on this. And we get to produce this publication, which is um, the DP highlights of the year as we see them. And then what happens is that the event um, you're at now, we will have 10 speakers, including myself, who will come on and give you the highlights. So it's like the highlights of the highlights, uh, if you will. And every year at the beginning, or when we start producing this, we sort of sit down and scratch our heads and think, will we have enough for 10 things? And every year, we find ourselves having conversations about what to cut. There's always too much to talk about in the field that we're in. So you will hear about new technology, like large language models, the metaverse, um, ad tech. You will hear about new laws, so the new UK bill, the new data transfer arrangements, the new EU health data space, um, and you will hear about fines. You will hear about enforcement action. And the thing that sort of strikes me about that is that oh, I've been doing this quite a long time, and it used to be that there were no fines, and so people weren't very worried about data protection and didn't take it seriously. Then GDPR came along, and there was the specter of enormous fines, and it started to be a bit more eye-catching and to get people's attention. And then after we were living with GDPR for a while, and there'd been no real fines, we even heard clients start to say, oh, I wish there were a few more fines. <laughs> I, I could really use that in my conversation with the finance director. We need a bit of action to show the importance of it. Well, your dream has come true, I guess. <laughs> Um, no more so than, than this week where we saw the meta fine, which you'll hear a little bit about. 1.2 billion is a lot of money for any company, obviously. Um, seems massive. My personal view is it's 
completely out of proportion. Um, and the irony is that that is a view that the DPC, the Irish Dead Protection Commissioner that issued the fine, also agrees with. That's where we are when we think about how things work between a national regulator and the EDPB um, in, in, in Brussels. So uh, we will kick off now. We will let the fun begin. I would ask you, if you don't mind, we'll just keep the questions at the end, just because there's, there's a lot of speakers, and so it helps us with the timing if we save them up for the end. But there'll all being well be plenty of opportunity for you to ask whatever you want to ask. So over to our first speaker.